Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, you'll get a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of Holy Water, as originally performed by We the Kingdom. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key of D and at its original tempo of 73 BPM. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same as the hand positions, song sections, and sound of the patch are the exact same. This patch has piano, pads, bass, organ, and some arps all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here to here. Your left hand will play octaves for most of the song, dropping the single notes in the lower and higher octaves at certain parts. The right hand will play piano chords and some synth lead lines and riffs throughout the song. The piano sound starts here and stretches all the way up to here. From here upward you have a guitar-like patch. And then all the way up here will be your main synth lead. As you increase the song section control, you'll hear pads and organ fade in, and the arps at the very top. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. For the intro, you'll have your song section control at zero. Your left hand will play single notes in the lowest octave, while your right hand plays a synth lead line up high. I'll play just the right hand for you. Here's what this intro will sound like with both hands. comes back later in the song, labeled as the turnaround. This comes directly after the first chorus. You'll play the same chord progression for this turnaround, but the song section control will be halfway up, bringing in more sounds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a new guitar lead in your right hand. Here's what the right hand will sound like for this part. And here's both hands. the down verse, you'll have the song section control at zero. You'll play single notes in the low octave for your left hand, and your right hand will play the synth lead from the intro, but only in the second half of the verse. I'll play this entire verse with both hands. For 
For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at a quarter of the way up. Your left hand will play octaves and your right hand will play piano chords. Feel free to voice these chords however you'd like, but I'll show you which inversions I like to use. You'll also come in with the new synth lead halfway through this verse. Here's what that synth lead will sound like. Here's this medium verse with both hands. For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control at zero. In the recording, all melodic instruments drop out, and there are just vocals and drums. Depending on the arrangement that your band is doing, you may or may not want to drop out for this part. If you'd like to keep playing, I would suggest dropping out just the right hand and playing single notes in the lowest octave with your left hand. This range just has a pad, so it won't be very noticeable, and it'll help to keep some melodic content beneath the vocal line. This is what I do in the demo, so be sure to check it out to see how I play this chorus. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll play octaves in your left hand and piano chords in your right hand, going up to a guitar lead up high halfway through. If your band has a guitarist that plans on playing these parts, you can feel free to double them or drop those parts out. However, if your band is smaller or if the guitarist isn't playing those lead lines, it can be beneficial to have them present in the keys. Here's what the lead line will sound like. And here's the medium chorus with both hands. For your final chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up. The first time through the chorus, everything drops out except drums and vocals. I like to continue playing the higher octave in my left hand here, which is just piano chords. So you can see and hear the chord changes. About halfway through, I like to play that same guitar lead line that we played in the medium chorus. The second time through the final chorus, you'll play with octaves in your left hand and that same guitar lead in your right hand. There's also a tag at the very end where the last line is repeated two times. I'll play both of these choruses and that last tag for you.
For the interlude and down bridge, you'll have the song section control at one quarter. You'll play single notes in the higher octave of your left hand while the right hand plays some specific piano chords. Here's what that right hand will sound like. And here's with both hands. The interlude will be one time through that chord progression. The down bridge will also be one time through, but you'll play the down bridge a total of three times. For the medium bridge, you'll keep the song section control where it's at and you'll play octaves in your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. The chord progression changes slightly for this bridge, so I'll play this medium bridge for you. This bridge will be just one time through. Be sure to check out the demo to see how I move the song section control between these different sections and build the intensity of the song. Now just to review the different song section control positions. You'll start the song with the song section control at zero for your intro, your down verse, and your down chorus. At about one quarter of the way up will be your medium verse, your interlude, and your bridge. At halfway will be the turnaround, the medium chorus. And then all the way up will be your big chorus. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for main stage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for main stage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.